Hi, this is Dr. Dale Wagner, an exercise physiologist in the uh, Human Performance uh, Division of Exercise Science at Utah State University. We're here today to do a body composition measurement. We're going to be using skin folds for this measurement. Skin fold is a field method technique. It's a small device. We can take it with us anywhere. So that's one of the big advantages of skin fold. Um, it's a portable, uh, portable instrument. Also fairly low cost relative to the other instruments that we have. A good set of skin fold calipers might run about $250. Um, so relatively inexpensive compared to some of our laboratory methods, which might be $40,000. On the skin fold measurement, what we're really doing here is we're taking, uh, uh, we're measuring the subcutaneous fat, that's the fat right underneath the skin, and a, a dull fold of skin. So we have, we're, we're going to take a pinch, and in that pinch there's going to be a double layer of skin and the underlying fat that's caught between that skin. Based on that information, based on the subcutaneous fat that we get, we're making an estimate or prediction about total body fat. There's a variety of sites to take. I'm just going to show you one site um, so that you get the idea. Um, so we're going to do a measurement on the tricep site. So we're going to measure the right side of the body. And so I'm going to take a measurement. It's always good to have good anatomical locations here. So let's go to the right arm, and we're going to take a measurement on the tricep, so the back of the arm. So my anatomical landmarks for the tricep are midway between the acromion process on the shoulder and the olecranon process on the elbow. So I'm going to find the acromion process just by feeling for the end of the bone. And can you bend your arm at 90 degrees for me? Makes it easy to find the olecranon process. And so I'm going to go midway between there. And so for her, that's right there. I want to be on the back of her arm, so I just take my tape measure around to the back to make sure I'm in the right location. And then I'm going to put a little mark so that I know the spot that I want to measure. From here, I'm going to put my fingers just about a centimeter above that mark. I'm going to take a fairly wide pinch. I'm going to pinch and pull. And as I pull, the muscle is going to sink back down into the bone. And I'm just going to be left with subcutaneous fat and the, um, uh, the double fold of skin. Just relax your arm. So I'm going to pinch and pull. I'm left with my fold. I put the calipers right below my fingers. And I wait for about three seconds before I read the dial on the caliper. And that's it. That's all there is to skin folds. And then we would do a multiple set of sites. Uh, there's a variety of equations. There's a lot of different equations. Some equations are what we call generalized equations. Therefore, they're based on a large age range of people, maybe 18 to 65 or so. Um, then we have other equations that are very specific. For example, uh, we have a female athlete equation, which we might use on this subject. Um, the important thing is to use the right equation for your client. Um, there's a variety of skin fold sites. Some common typical sites will be the triceps like I just did here, um, an abdomen, superiliac, thigh. They're also very common, uh, common skin fold sites. Again, the advantages here, it's a low cost field method, small, portable. Uh, the disadvantage is it requires a certain amount of technique, a certain amount of skill. It takes quite a bit of practice in order to be able to get, um, to become competent in uh, using the correct anatomical landmarks and pinching with the right amount of force in order to get an accurate measurement.